Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy again. Uh, remember the other day we were talking about the ESC and how, I don't know, the markings are not correct for what they're selling it for, but Flywing jumped in and they said, ah, it's just an old PCB. We continue using it and updating it, so that's why it's labeled that way. So if anybody has one, I'd like to see the label. But anyways, I gutted this because it was junk. Not a scratch on it, not a blown MOSFET, but junk. Don't know why. I got the numbers off the MOSFETs. Uh, I contacted somebody to tell me what these are rated for. Uh, most ESCs have the same configuration, but they'll have two capacitors, not one. But there's no room here, as you can see. So they got their own little design going on. Um, so what I'm getting to is junk. You can't find one. Ordering one will take like 20 years. So I had some ESCs laying around. I had a Predator 40 amp, which is way overkill for the, the rear tail, and a 50 amp for the main motor, which is fine. Uh, they say 60 on theirs, but the Moffitt's on this thing and dual capacitors <clears throat> and 400 microfarads are a lot bigger. Um, so I just put a Franken ENC, ESC together. I mean, here's the main motor connection, here's your battery connection. Um, you have your tail connection, which I stole from the other ESC. Um, you have the telemetry. Well, let me grab this one. You have servo. You have a servo. This is a servo wire for the main motor. This is the servo wire for the tail. I haven't removed uh, the red and black wire. You don't need those. You just need the signal wire, which is the white wire. So you remove those, get them out of the way. All right. That's how it works. Your telemetry wire. This goes directly to the battery side. It just keeps track of... Um, the power going to you know the unit itself here and the H1 you know um, so just so you can get a good look at it a 40 for the tail 50 for the main motor I stole the connector off the motor and the motor I mean the old ESC old ESC all this stuff comes off the old ESC except for the servo wires they were pot but if you do do this you need some soldering skills and I would put them together they're pretty thin I mean if you can get a 60 and a 20 you're good a 50 and a 20 would be perfect and it's just the right size you know what I mean it almost matches what they have but you got two separate ESC's I got them taped together uh, you don't have to do that uh, I seen somebody else put the second ESC towards the tail so your wires weren't messed up, but I wanted to keep it all under the canopy. But, and like I said, if you do this, you got to remember the tail servo wire. You got to take the red and black out of there. You don't need power. And, you know, I was told that the H1, when you use the H1, I had to get a special BEC to run it because it was saying 7.4 volts up to run everything from the H1. Now, funny thing is, if you look at your... ESC from Flywing it says 5 amp 5 BEC that's what this 50 amp produces the same thing 5 and 5 on the UBEC so this type of thing get up if you wanted to uh, and these are cheap if you want to buy these from China it's like 10 bucks for this one and 19 for that one and uh, if you find a place close by you can get them for about the same price so they're both helicopter uh, ESCs, just one smaller amps. But if you, this one here can run a six cell, but this one cannot. It's hard to find a smaller six cell um, compatible ESC, you know. So, but let's just give it a whirl here, just so I can show you. First, I'm gonna plug in the telemetry on the battery side. All right, this of course is the tail wire. Let me get the two servo wires. Like I said, the main motor one has three wires. That's your ESC, ground wire facing upward. 
tail wire ground is up or signal wire all the way down all right so then let's come over here make sure there's a lot of tension off of here I'm gonna plug in the tail now remember the tail doesn't do anything unless the H1 is spinning around so I'm gonna try to I don't know if I can get this in the camera I don't think I can because I need to reach the main motor but anyways I'll put the main motor here let me plug the BEC into the main motor I reuse the uh, connectors so it just connects right in all right now let me see if I can do this and you can see I move the radio and like I said the tail doesn't do anything unless the H1 is moving around so I'm gonna put it like that I think you can see everything right here all right let me turn the radio on the only thing is if you get the BECs get ones that have programmers uh, there's a couple of places in the United States they sell cheap ESC's not meaning cheap but these are the ones they use in helicopters because they're separate just because they're separate it makes them less costly and plus if anything happens you can replace it the uh, first flywing I thought was the best idea it had its a separate ESC for the tail and a separate ESC for the motor they wanted to combine it which is good makes it all easy for them it's a two-in-one but if one side blows on the MOSFETs you can't use it anymore it's just junk and uh, you have to buy another one uh, anyways I got this little uh, 1000 test battery radios on Oop, I almost plugged it into the wrong ESC. Let's plug it into this ESC. I'll try to wiggle the H1. Alright, what I'm going to try to do is wiggle the heli. You'll see the tail come on. Alright, now the only way to do this is to go into 3D. Let's go to 3D first. And I can show you everything works. Forward, backwards, left, right, collective, rudder, all right? And when you're in 3D, you can test the tail. But like I said, some people think something's wrong because the tail don't fire up. But um, let's get the blinking light, blue blinking light. While it's blinking, I'm going to hit it, show you the motor spins. Oh, what I was talking about on the BEC. Uh, the ESCs. If you get a 50 or 60 amp, you get a program card and you can program soft start into it. This one doesn't have soft start, so you're going to see this thing come on wicked fast, all right? But I can program that down with soft start or just leave it the way it is. Because the thing with the H1, it's running off a steady RPM. There's no changes in the RPM. When you go up and down, when you go up and down, you're using the same head speed. All it's doing is changing the pitch. You know, especially in, in, you know, but if you go into direct 3D mode, now you can control the throttle as well. But when you're doing your stunts, you don't, I mean, you're um, just regular GPS mode, you don't need that. But anyways, back to this. Get the blinking light. I'm going to turn the switch on. I just want to hold the tail. And off she goes. Like I said, you can get this into a soft step, uh, soft stop mode. Uh, these, the cheaper ones, are easier to program with your radio, but you have to do it before you hook it up to the uh, your um, receiver. And I didn't do that, but if you want to see it again, I hold on one stick, get the blinky light, hit run. See right away, it's right off the bat. pretty funny how that works on the tail but but anyways this is Cruz Roy talking about a Frankenstein ESC you can make one yourself if you got a little uh, 
a little bit of soldering skills and if you have a burnt out fly wing it works out mint because you can steal all the parts from it the extra wires all that stuff solder it on I have both of these connected into the same connector and the power lead comes off into the uh, the fly wing I mean the H1 alrighty so I hope this helps people out um, this will work if you're you have to wait a long period of time to get or you can build one yourself and have it as a spare that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna throw it in a box I have three of these and a 200 so uh, this one here I made from parts from someone who sent me this one so I could investigate what the problem was and I stole all the guts off it and except for the servo wires and I made my own all right and I uh, hope this helps someone out. This is Cruz Roy with the Flywing FW450 V3. And you can make this ESC for any of their versions except for the 200. And I uh, hope this helps someone out. And I'm out of here.